What's up guys, Yoshicopter here, once again. And as of right now, time of this recording, about half hour away from Sony's press conference. Um, if you have not seen my thoughts about Microsoft, you can go ahead and click the annotation in the video thing to go watch that, so. Sony, what do you got in store for me? Obviously, they're going to be talking a lot about the PlayStation 4 and upcoming games for the PlayStation 4. So, what am I expecting to see? Well, one thing I know for sure is that we're going to be getting the first live gameplay demo of Bungie's new game, Destiny, and I'm pretty excited for that. I can't wait to see that game in action. But other than that, I really don't know what they're going to be showing. I haven't really been following Sony too much. I do know they're going to talk about the Vita a little bit, probably. It just seems like a smart idea. That thing's kind of dead. You might want to save it while you still can. Uh, that's about it. There really isn't too much news for Sony, aside from Destiny, that, not, that I know of anyway. The stuff that has already been shown or announced, like Metal Gear Solid and stuff like that. I did hear a rumor somewhere that there may be a showing of Uncharted 4, but I don't think that's likely, seeing as that Sony, you know, Naughty Dog just came out with the release of The Last of Us, so it'd be a little crazy for them to already be working on a new Uncharted so soon. So, it would be nice, but I'm not holding my breath for it. So, that's about all I have to say. I'll see you guys again after the press conference is over. Let's see how it goes. Do not disappoint me, Sony. I'm looking up to you. Alright, folks. Sony's press conference has just now ended. And... Whoa. Just... I don't even know. Their press conference was fucking amazing. So many awesome announcements and awesome games I want to get. I am convinced I want to buy a PlayStation 4 now. Their conference made me want to get a PlayStation 4 and get it the day it comes out. I want a fucking PS4 and I want one now. So before we get to the awesome game, let's get on, let's talk about some of the cooler aspects. Okay, we'll first start with the low light. Their conference did start a little slow. I mean, they were just talking about like their sport entertainment packages and yada yada. Stuff. No one cares. But as soon as they got on with the games and other news people wanted to hear, holy shit, it just didn't stop. It was just non-stop awesomeness. They did show off the hardware, they showed what the console looks like. It's very small. It's I'd say it's smaller than the current Xbox 360. And it looks a little bit like a PlayStation 2 somewhat to me. It looks like the, the slim PS2. It kind of looks like that. Um, it will support used games, which is something a lot of people were hoping to hear, and that is totally the case. There will be no online DRM for anything, any games, any disc-based game, nothing. That's awesome news. People wanted to hear that. I wanted to hear that. So, when's it coming up? How much is it going to cost? They didn't specify an exact date, but they did say holiday season this year, so quarter 4, 2013. Makes sense to me. Probably November or December. With a price of three ninety nine, yep, four hundred dollars for that amazing console has almost the exact same specs as the Xbox One, and is a hundred dollars shorter. Microsoft, you have got your asses handed to you on a silver platter with gold lining on a platinum tray. You have lost. I do not want to get an Xbox One. There are games I want to play on Xbox One, but the PS4 has a bit more variety, and we're gonna get to that right now. 
So what did they talk about? They talked about a couple of Vita stuff. Nothing. They didn't really focus on the Vita too much, but they did talk about some cool stuff. Um, the Telltale's The Walking Dead games. If you have not played them, you should. They're really good adventure games. But all of them, all five of ep episodes of season one are coming to the Vita, which is pretty cool. Play that game on the go. And they also said that season two will be available this summer. I was hoping to hear that. That's cool. They have a bunch of HD re-releases coming out, like God of War, Final Fantasy X, and X-2, and all this stuff. Okay, cool. They then talked about a game called Rain, which I have not heard of. I'm pretty sure other people have, though. It looks to be some sort of, like, puzzle game where you're a spirit in the rain or something. I, I don't really get it. They showed another trailer for Beyond Two Souls. It looks to be a lot more interactive than Heavy Rain was but still has that movie-esque quality to it, much like Heavy Rain does, since it's made by the same developers. They then showed Gran Turismo 6, I mean, well, it was Gran Turismo 6. They showed another trailer and slight gameplay for the new Batman game, Batman Arkham Origins, and it looked pretty cool. A lot of the new gadgets they showed looked pretty silly. Like, there's one where you can attach two guys to each other and they'll fly into each other and smack heads or something. It's classic Batman, that's awesome. Then they showed Grand Theft Auto V. They at least talked about it, they didn't really show anything. Talking about like bundles and stuff like that. Alright. Then they got on with the PS4 stuff, and it was nothing but PS4 games from here on out. They first showed some sort of new game called The Order 1886. It's a, it's a shooter of some kind where you're fighting some sort of fucking zombie-like creatures in 1886 with like some crazy futuristic weapon. It, it looks crazy. It looks cool. Then they showed Killzone Shadowfall. It's kill, I'm not a big Killzone fan, but from what I saw, it was pretty cool. Then they showed Drive Club, which, well, it's another racing game. Okay. Then they show a little bit more of Infamous Second Son. Now, I have played Infamous maybe once. It was cool. I mean, I like Prototype much more, but pretty much if you've played Infamous before, it's essentially the same thing, except you're a new character, and instead of electricity powers, you have fire powers from the looks of things. Pretty awesome. So... Huh? They also showed a game called Knack, which is something that they showed... Um, something they showed at the PS4's original launch. Something, some sort of like little game of some sort where you're like running around attacking things with like creatures that are built off of debris or something. Looks pretty cool. Then they had something called the Dark Sorcerer, and if you remember, if if you ever watched the PS4's live reveal a couple months ago. Um, they had a tech demo of some old guy's face. Apparently that was a game. It's called The Dark Sorcerer, but the trailer they had for it appears to be a spoof. It was this dark, this sorcerer guy doing this cool magic and all of a sudden he screws something up and realizes it was just a commercial shoot of some kind. It, it was pretty funny seeing that. It, it makes me wonder what kind of game it's going to be in the long run. Is it going to be something funny like that or is that just a marketing campaign for it? Who knows? Then, Supergiant Games, the guys who made the amazing indie hit Bastion, are working on a new game called The Transistor. I hope I'm saying that right. It looks to be in the same style as Bastion, you know, the top-down action RPG, you know, lock-on combat, super awesome art style, all that stuff. So that's going to be exciting. And then a whole bunch of other indie games... Some that we knew about, like Don't Starve, like that's coming to PS4. And a couple of newer ones, um, I can't remember the names off the top of my head, I didn't really jot them down, they were going by a little too fast for me. But there's this one where it's like a spaghetti western kind of thing, where it's like a top-down shooter, it looks pretty cool. There's one that you command like a zombie army, it reminded me a lot of Stubb as a zombie, except a lot more child-friendly. And then, probably the my highlight of the of the show, Tetsuya Nomura, um, a character designer and game director over at Square Enix, 
had a message for everybody showing off Final Fantasy vs. 13, like the first gameplay ever of the damn game ever since it was first unveiled way back when. Turns out, they've changed the title. It's no longer vs. 13, but now it is straight up Final Fantasy 15. Yep. I was expecting them to do something like that, but that's cool that they did that. And then what they showed next. Ooh boy, what they showed next. They showed the teaser trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3. I... I screamed with joy. I was... I was fucking ecstatic. I didn't know what to do. I just... I'm so glad. It's finally coming. It looks absolutely fantastic on the PlayStation 4. Just... I don't know. That was... That was so awesome. It was so amazing. I loved it. But anyway, they then showed a live demo of Assassin's Creed 4, which looked cool, but during the showing, apparently the console froze. <laughs> it froze and the guy didn't know what to do. It was it was terrible. It was an oh no moment. It almost killed him, but they instantly remedied it by just stopping Assassin's Creed 4 and bringing on a new thing of Watch Dogs, which still looks amazing. I want to get it. It looks super fun. The fact you can black out the damn city is pretty cool. Then they showed another trailer for Elder Scrolls Online. Now, I'm not a big Elder Scrolls guy, but it did look pretty cool. You'll fight dragons with friends. It's multiplayer Elder Scrolls. If you've played any Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, Morrowind, Oblivion, anything. It's that except with multiplayer. Th if that doesn't automatically sell, sell you, I don't know what will. It then showed a teaser trailer for something called Mad Max, and I really don't know what that is. Someone else might. And then they ended the conference. The last game they showed was Bungie's new game, Destiny, and it looks like it has elements mixed from both Halo and Call of Duty, seeing that it's made by both teams, pretty much, Activision and Bungie. And it looks really, really cool. It looks really, really fun. You know, they showed, like, a boss fight where they were having, like... At first, it was, like, three guys that went in for the boss fight, but by the end, there was, like, ten people there. All participating in the same game, and all fighting the same boss. That was, that was pretty awesome. So, other than that, Sony's press conference was absolutely incredible. It was so awesome. The start of it was a little slow, and Assassin's Creed, that was, that was a fail, but for the most part, they did what they needed to do. They addressed the issues that gamers were having. I, I say they won E3 so far, but it's a little too early to tell. Nintendo still has their, their video tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm hoping for maybe like a Wii U, a price drop for the Wii U. That would certainly help things, especially now, seeing as that you can get a PS4 for just 50 bucks extra if you really want. So if Nintendo lowers the price like $100 on both of their bundles, Nintendo's going to be in the clear. So, what's next? Two of the big three are down, one more to go. Nintendo, you're up. I'll go in a little more detail than what I'm expecting tomorrow morning, but all I know is that it's 11.30 at night, I'm tired as hell, but I'm gonna have some good dreams tonight. So, I will see you all tomorrow after Nintendo's showing, but before I, before I go, before I go to sleep, I'm gonna go watch that Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer one more goddamn time. That was too fucking awesome. So anyway, I will see you guys soon. This is Yoshi Copter, signing off for the night.